Adam, a 2-1 win over Spenny Moore here at the International Stadium. How do you and the boys kind of reflect, I suppose, on, on that game after that? I think it's a massive win, to be honest. I think um, we all know how tough the game is going to be. They're obviously fighting because since the new managers have come in, they need, they need wins and that's exactly what they came here to do today. And, and we had to show every part of us because we weren't at our best, I don't think, on the ball, but physically we, we battled and we did what we could and in the end we got our rewards. Yeah, and of course, kind of going a, a goal down in the... The first half, you just have to sort of dig into, I suppose, the the character side of yourselves. I know you've kind of done it on multiple occasions this season, but it's another one where you know it's it's not kind of got in your heads a bit going to go down. You know, you've stayed calm and, and pulled it back pretty shortly afterwards, really. Yeah, of course, it's one of those. Like obviously, people are making mistakes on the ball. It was it was a big occasion. We all wanted to win. We knew the pressure was on us. They could play with a little bit of freedom because we were the favourites and. I think there was a few mis uncharacter uncharacteristic mistakes to begin with and, and then like you say, once we went a goal down it kind of calmed everyone down and we knew that we had to sort of pull our finger out and we got on the ball more and from there I think, I think we dominated the rest of the second half and then obviously Matt had come up and, and doing what he does best was, was massive for us and then from there low it took us a little while to, to sort of get the second goal. I think we all knew that it was, it was going to come and we just had to keep plugging away but yeah, it's nice to show that other side of it where we're not necessarily at our best on the ball but off the ball they, they couldn't really live with the work rate and the and the dominance that we had on in pressure in them. Yeah, and another goal for yourself in the the second half. It's sort of a, a one similar to the the Bradford one in a way, kind of cutting in and, and curling it into sort of the far corner. I mean, do you feel pretty confident in those positions that if you, you hit one, it's going to find that corner? Not on my left, definitely not. Um, that was I don't normally kick the ball from my left. I mind shooting, uh, and I certainly don't normally shoot from outside the box. So to see you go in the net was, was definitely a nice feeling, and I probably owe one, all the lads one because I was I've missed quite a few chances this year. So it's nice to to put one in the net and, and get the win for the boys. Yeah, and obviously quite a, a while left in the game, I suppose, after that, and spending we were kind of pushing forward, looking for an equaliser, sort of grown as the, the game went on, but you know, you've, you've dug in and kind of withstood the, the storm, so to speak. But is that another side, and I suppose as well that, you know, it's it's three points and a win, despite, as you say, you're not playing at your 100% best? Yeah, I think that shows just how much confidence there is in the group, that we know that when we're not playing well, we've, we can rely on the defence to, to stay strong and, uh, and to keep out one of the best forwards in, in the league, albeit he scored a penalty today, but other than that, they, they've they've pretty much dealt with him and Owen in front of him, he's, uh, you saw against Matt Reid on, on last weekend and then again today that his job in there is brilliant and, and he does it really well so then on top of that obviously they know the Keds and Matt are going to score goals so keep giving them chances and the ball will go in the net so yeah it, it shows that even when we don't play our best we, we can still beat one of the best teams in the league.